Hey everybody, it's Istvan82. I'm back to babble about things you don't care about particularly. So, last video I showed you the Dell R420 I bought, which is actually underneath this, which is an R720. Um, again, something about for work, because I'm teaching myself how to do VMs and blah 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 blah. Uh, I don't actually need this, I wanted this because it's a fairly convenient storage server once all is said and done. Now, unlike, there's a cat who's about to walk past, that is Kohima-chan. So this server, unlike the last one, is kind of multi-purpose. It's not top of the line again. One of these will cost you probably about $200. It uses the same RAM as the one below it, which means I was able to combine the RAM between the two of them. And it's got, uh, I don't know, 20, maybe 40. 20 or 40 gigs? I don't know. That's not... Hold on. Well, actually, there's a good way to tell. This is the part that you don't actually care about. But, so, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 40 gigs of RAM in it. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, These are, you know, they're older RAM. And they're generally speaking, let me adjust the camera up a tiny bit, generally speaking about t between 10 and $20 a stick. That's not terrible. Now this thing can hold 24 sticks, so, you know, go with the cheapest RAM. If you don't get, um, if you don't get like RX, or 2XR8, get 2XR4, that's $4 a stick. You don't really need RAM that hugely uh, impressive if you want to run a Minecraft server. This is actually quieter than the other one I have. Now, again, this is all for training purposes at the moment, so I've got hard drives and caddies in it. I'm still expecting some caddies and drives in the mail. But used data center drives like this. This is a 300 gig drive, mind you. I'm going to raid it all together. Uh, I'll probably do raid 10 when it's all done, so that it'll be half the drives will combine into size, and the other half will combine into a mirror of that, for simplicity's sake. But for a Minecraft server, this would work. These drives are $8 each. There's no real loss here, and it, that's only because afterwards I'm going to use this as a data storage server. But I'm going to test a number of things I'm working on actually using Minecraft servers for my job. Um, let me try and get a better angle on this. Okay, that's a little better. Now, what I would put this as is if you want a mid-tier dedicated Minecraft server um, for, you know, your kids or your friends or your dorm or whatever, the processors in it are just quad core. I say as though 10 years ago that wasn't the absolute greatest fucking thing on the planet. Now, these are just nice little blanks that they put into servers for shipping. They don't actually do anything, but they look nice, so I leave them in. I believe I've got the RAM space evenly. I'll double check it at some point uh, before I do anything with it. I actually got another 10 sticks on the way for the 420 beneath it, because I need practice balancing between the two servers, you know, load balancing, uh, and a, a number of other things. That's completely immaterial. The nice thing about this one is it seems to make less noise, but also the fans are much easier to replace, have a proprietary connector, but with mild modification, you can put in Noctua fans and make this way quieter. It is a bit more power intensive because the power supplies in the back are both 700 plus watt and the main upside to this is the number of full graphics cards it can take. This is in case you want to turn this into a rendering workstation for something too, like if you're doing high-end graphics. These things all work a treat. And more importantly, it's incredibly easy to work on, fix, manipulate, change. And you won't actually need to see me continually bump the camera to do too much more with this than install something like CentOS 7, CentOS 8 on it if you want to run a simple to set up and run 
Feed the Beast or Minecraft server. Now, my suggestion is still going to be the R420 because it works. It works well. Um, you can, you're still going to want to go with Linux because server versions of Windows are prohibitively expensive. And that's valid. It is a, uh, it's not really a consumer grade thing. It's more of an end, you know, it, it's an industrial or enterprise product. Still works well. I mean, you could reasonably, as long as you didn't want a super high end gaming computer, game on like Windows Server 12 R2, something like that. But, yeah, this is, um, this is a good one if you want a Minecraft server, but you also want something with a bit more horsepower. Like, if you're doing graphics rendering, or if you want, I don't know, um, anything. Like, anything that would require a bit more oomph than other things. Like I said, $200, but RAM actually is the cheap one, because this RAM is 2RX8, which is $8 to $10, uh, well, $8 to $20, depending on if you're lucky that day. And that's used, of course. You're probably getting all used data center components and everything like this server itself was. It's not a terrible setup. I mean, you can even upgrade the quad cores from, I think they're, these are 2.1 quad cores. You could upgrade it to, I think, a 6 or maybe even an octa-core uh, processor and get a whole lot of oomph. But you don't need that if you're just looking for storage and Minecraft. I, I can't recommend it enough. It's good. It's also very sturdy, which I like. This thing weighs a ton, and I know some people are probably annoyed that I have it sitting on top of the much smaller server, but it works. In it, you know, it, these are both sturdy as hell. You're not exactly going to be like, I'm going to drop it on the floor and everything's going to be okay, but it's not going to care. I mean, this 2U one can probably take my entire body weight. I'm not going to test that because I'm not an idiot, but it probably can. Anyway, that's just some advice. And because I like updating everyone on what's going on, this room is as usual a mess, but, you know, I'm starting to build an office in another room that's going to take a while, but thinking I might do some more videos about things like this in the future once I've got that down. Anyway, thanks all for listening to me rant like an asshole. Take care.